So the V8 in this giveaway Forerunner is amazing, but we're gonna get a little more pep in its step with the Pedal Commander. So we're gonna be putting the Pedal Commander system into this fourth gen V8 Forerunner that Yoda Mafia and myself are giving away. Guys, the link to this whole sweepstakes giveaway of this Forerunner is down in the description. Don't miss out. As of this video is going up, we have about nine to 10 days left. So before we get into the quick install and my impressions of this Pedal Commander system, I want to let you guys know that monthly, I am giving away Pedal Commanders. I think I've already given two or three away over on Instagram, but now it's your guys' chance on YouTube to win one of these. So very simple, all you have to do, listen up, here's the rules. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, like this video, and simply comment down below what your vehicle is, some modifications you have to it if you have any, and why you would want the Pedal Commander system. I will randomly pick a person that comments down below and that meets all three of those criteria. And I will pick that winner on January 25th. So for some of you that are new to my channel and don't know, I installed a Pedal Commander system on my fifth gen 4Runner about five to six-ish months ago. It was sometime last year. Last year was all a blur. But I've been doing follow-up videos and stuff with the Pedal Commander system and doing a long-term testing basically on the product. Right now, currently, I am running it in my 4Runner at City 2. Pedal Commander is a very cool system because it allows you to hopefully get better fuel economy. It allows you to have a little more pep in your vehicle's step, essentially, because all these newer cars are an electronic throttle body. The vehicle will sometimes lag a little bit in that depressing of the pedal versus when the car itself actually wants to open up the throttle body to give you that acceleration that you need. With this 4Runner with the V8, this thing has so much low end torque that it kind of isn't a problem like it is on the fifth gen 4Runner. However, once we start putting the tent on this thing, the awning, the bumper we've already attached to it, the rig ultra swing, it hasn't really phased this motor that much, but I know installing this pedal commander system will allow this vehicle to you know, really just get up and go. So guys, the install of this product could not be simpler. Basically, all you are doing is plugging and playing. So you're gonna take off the cable that goes to your electronic pedal. You're basically gonna replace that connection that's going into your pedal with the pedal commander system, and then plug this other harness into its original location. So that plug is right here, guys, that I was talking about. Simply just come up top, wiggle it. There's a little pin that you had to depress right up here. And then you just take the pedal commander system that's plug and play, take the male to female ends, go ahead and plug them in. And then you're going to take basically this end that you just took off the pedal itself and put it back with the tab facing towards the center console. and then you heard it click, and now it's in. Then also you would wanna do some cable management, maybe running it up through the plastic right here, up to where you're gonna keep the pedal commander system, probably somewhere near your dash. So I tucked the wires up in the plastic right here to the right of the pedal, and I may use some of the provided zip ties that they gave us, but I did use the Velcro, and I like this spot right here. Hopefully it's not too much in the way of uh, your foot position, but it's nice because you'll be able to reach down and look over and it's not really in your whole instrument cluster way over here. But if you are going to change a setting of the pedal commander, they definitely recommend that you do it while you're stopped, not while you are in motions. Because sometimes if you're in motion and you're tricking the throttle body, hey, give it more while you're already driving, you're instrument cluster may light up like Christmas trees just because the truck may not know what's actually going on with it. It's getting too much signal, not enough signal. So definitely, if you're gonna change the setting from like city to sport or sport plus, do it while you are not moving at all. So get on the road with it right now, guys, and this thing scoots. It scoots, it gets some power, and this 4.7 V8 that's in this vehicle already is already a great motor. But then you add this pedal commander system to it. I have it in City 2. I figured I would just use it in the same setting that I have my fifth gen 4Runner in, and just gonna give it a little bit of pedal, and it starts to accelerate right away. The pedal feels a little bit stiffer. If you haven't used the pedal commander system, it's kind of hard to really explain. Basically, that, del that delay of the 
putting the pedal down and your car going forward essentially is just gone. Depending on which setting you put it on, it means that much more power, basically. So, so I guess the thing works. There's no check engine lights, nothing like that. The vehicle started perfectly fine. The lights came onto the pedal commander system. I'm able to turn the system off. It acts as if it was stocked. I was playing around with it for a little bit in my neighborhood before actually getting on the road to make sure everything worked. So it works flawlessly. I haven't had any issues in my fifth gen 4Runner, so I will leave that iCard up above for you guys if you guys are looking for you know uh, month-long reviews after using it, long-term testing. So that playlist I will leave up above. And don't forget, I'm giving away a system just like I mentioned in the beginning of this video. So all you have to do is like this video, be a subscriber, Go down in the comments section and comment what type of vehicle you have, modifications, and why the pedal commander system would be good for you. So if you guys are new around here, definitely check out the sweepstakes that we have for this 4Runner going on. Link for that in the description. Guys, returning subscribers, I appreciate you as always, and I will catch you in the next video. All right, see you later.